Lover is back. So. And I do like eating healthy. I do like that. I do like, you know, that I can eat again. Um, it's very important to me because, and it's nice not to be sick and have all these health issues, you know, like I did before. And most of it was because I was health, I'm overweight. Once I lost the weight, everything sort of played itself into place, you know. Um, You know, each week I come up with a different vegetable soup, and that's what I did because I had to eat, and, and for some reason soup is always good for me for lunch because I always don't have a lot of time with my other company that I own, and this time of the year I'm very, very busy, so I don't have a lot of time. Container of broth. This is all homemade. Now we use water to get all the goodies out. I just use the container. As you'll see, I just put in water in the container. That's all I do to fill the bottle. And I think it's unique because everybody always asks me, do you like eating soup for lunch? You know, I really do. I don't care if it's a different kind of soup. I just like the idea that I have soup. And it's good for me, you know, that's the thing. And it's healthy. And that is one thing that I've really learned over the years, that this is my third year of doing this, and with only a year that I've actually been sharing my life story, I want people to realize that if I can do it, you can do it. And I do it all the time. And I think it's unique because then I get lazy, and here's what I do. You can see. I take the pan. Stick it underneath the sink to fill it up. And at that point, I got all the juices out of the thing, and I just go like this. Fill it up with water. We'll put our seasonings in. Ooh. And then I go like this to mix it up. Bring it over to the stove, add our seasonings, and get it cooking. All right, we're going to use a tablespoon of lemon juice.
tablespoon of Worcestershire. And you can have, you're gonna have to taste the seasonings because I'll be honest with you, you're gonna have to add more. I'm just giving you the basics because I don't measure or just, you know, taste the season. Basil. Parsley flakes. One teaspoon, these are all teaspoons, canine pepper. Red pepper flakes. These two you won't use over. That I can tell you. Italian seasoning. Oregano. Season salt. Garlic powder. Hungarian paprika. Pepper. Two bay leaves. And I just take them in my hands like this. Put it in. That's it. Then I mix it around. And then a lot of times what I'll do is I'll taste it. Even though it's cold, I can tell if I'm going to need more seasoning. And I'll do that a lot of times too. That's got a good taste. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. And it's unique when you add different flavorings to it. So, And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, where is it? You're gonna add a teaspoon of rosemary. And a teaspoon of thyme. There's my thyme. That's it. We're gonna mix it one more time. This put the lid on it, let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Be back with the calorie count and how many servings. So stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. God bless everybody. Bye.